so hello guys welcome with this video and in this video just i will continue shopping cart on angular so guys in the previous tutorial i just completed when i will click this add to cart button or you can say it when i will add this product on a cart so first of all i will show you that here i will click this add to cart button and here it will be increased that is one product i have added into the cart but when it is increased when i will refresh our page so you can see it it's added one product and when i will click here so it's not uh, showing here but when i will refresh our page again it will be shown here so i had shown you that in the previous tutorial but i told you that i will uh, that is a uh, issue guys issue means uh, here when i will click that the immediate will, it will be redirect on the cart i mean on this here so that, for that angular is the single page application and it doesn't load our page so for that there are the features that is subject and behavior subject and i also told you that i have already made a particular video on subject and behavior subject so if you want to know more details about subject and behavior subject so you can watch my that tutorial so in this tutorial you will get a brief idea of subject because i will use here subject not a behavior subject both are the different so you have to be watch my that tutorial to understand about that on details so here i will use, use subject so first of all the scenario is when I will click this button, add to cart button, so it will be direct add on to on the cart. I don't have to be redirect. Okay, I don't have to be refresh or page, not a redirect. And for that, this product in our home component. Okay, so I have to be open our home component dot ps file and home component dot html file. So here you can see i have already opened home component.ts file and home component.html file and the button is that this one for add to cart you can see here add to cart button this one okay so and this is the method add to cart method and i had written the method here this one so i already minimized that so now just here I have to be take a variable here so cart number variable name okay and the type is number but you can write variable name as per your choice and now i will assign the default value is zero and now here i will write a method name that is cart number and short form of function that is f u n c parenthesis and curly braces and now just here i have to check a length i already check a length in our header component so that is on header component so that's why when i'm refreshing our page it's added the value but here i have to be check a length and that length i have to be sent using subject here and i have to be get the length in header component so how i can check that is first of all i will show my local storage application so i already had shown you about local storage so that is the local storage okay so here the key is local cart so in this key all the product will be add so here you can see in this key the two product or you can say two value is added so product one and product two so i have to get all the product which is added into the local storage and then i have to be check the length so how we can get just here i will get the key of the local storage where in which key i am storing the product so i will copy this local cut key name and just here i will take a variable that is where and cut value variable name anytime you can write as per your choice and now local storage dot get item and which item i want to get just the key name so local card and here i told you when we store in value into a local storage then we convert into a json format 
so so when i'm i'll get the value again so i have to be, uh, uh, convert it his own format again so then we use json dot pass because when we store this value i mean uh, this value so you can see it's a json format okay so now again we will uh, we'll get the value then we have to be convert it again his own format own format means now it's all the string amount you can see amount is a number but when i'm storing that i convert into a string json the string okay so again we will get this uh, this value so we have to be uh, convert its own format that means amount will be number quantity will be number product id will be number because local storage doesn't store any number so that's why we are to convert it string so at the time to store we convert it string but again when i'll get then we have to be convert it number so for that we will use json dot parse parenthesis and inside this parse just i have to be pass this one which we convert into his own format so that one and now guys just here i have to be check the length okay so how we can check the length just this one card value dot length because guys the reason is here we uh, this in this variable i have stored all the value of local storage so that means now i have two values two product so if i check the length of this card value so i will get two product because and guys if you don't know what i'm talking about length so you have to be watch my javascript tutorial because they are i clearly make a tutorial about array length so this is the array and if i check the length of this array so we'll get how many object there so now after checking the length i will store into a another variable that is card number so this dot card number and okay so now guys here i will print this console dot log and this card number variable because after checking length i store in this variable okay so it's done but here i did not call this function anywhere because when we create a function that we call into the button click anywhere but here i just have written the method or you can say it function but i did not call so where i have to be call just here when i will click this add to cart button then i have to be call this function because when i will click this button then it will be check the length and it will be shown here okay so here i will use callback function so if you don't know also the callback function so you have to be watch my javascript tutorial because in the javascript tutorial i had shown that about callback function so just i will copy this method name and callback function means that is add to cart add to cart method and in this add to cart method i have already call in this add to cart button click so if i call this method in this add to cart method so it will be call also so that is add to cart method and just here i will call this function so this dot function name save so now just i will check into the console so the page it is compiling after successfully compile so it's compiled successfully so now if i click so length will be shown into the console so here you can see it's showing length 2 because if i check so here you can see there are two product okay and again if i click the product 3 so you can see 
it's showing it's showing length 3 and this one it's coming another console so here this one is coming from here so i will remove here okay so when i am adding any product so it's showing up in a console so i have to be send this number here directly okay so for that i will use subject so how we can use subject for using subject just here you have to be create a service so guys if you don't know how to create service so i have another tutorial about that how to create service and how you can use that so here i have already create a subject a service if i i have to create a subject here so it will take a too much time so here i have already create a service here so i will open here i have created many of service but i will use one service okay so i will open the open this auth dot service and after auth dot service just for using a subject here you have to be import this one that is import subject from rxjs because subject is comes from rxjs so if you use javascript and jquery so you know when we use jquery that is the library so we are to import jquery so here you can see we are to first of all download and then import or uh, we can say call jquery but here we don't need to download rxjs when we download any angular project then it's automatically comes with angular project rxjs so it is the default of angular and a uh, subject comes from rxjs so you can call it say uh, rxjs is similar like jquery but jquery we need to download separately but rxjs comes default in angular so first of all you have to be import subject and then just i below here i will take a another subject okay first import then you have to be take a variable that variable will be the same like subject so here you can see i have taken a two subject for another purpose but the, for the cart purpose i will take a subject here okay so here i will write a variable cart subject so that is the subject and the syntax is new and subject and type is any because in, in this subject i can send anything number string anything so that's why the type is any and this subject i had already create for another purpose and now the syntax is parenthesis okay so now i will use this subject so how i can use so first of all i will copy now first of all just here here guys i use this subject in the auth service so i have to be import the auth service in our ps file so guys here i have to be import so import and i'll copy the selector of auth service so this one i'll copy and here from dot dot slash service because this auth service i have in in a service folder so dot dot slash service slash okay it's not coming so i have to be at another no so dot slash no dot it should come here service okay it's coming so now you can see i have import this auth service in our home component because i will use this auth service because i have created subject into the auth service so i have import and now uh, after importing this i have to create a local variable so in the constructor just here private 
and odd colon and this one okay so this is the variable odd and i assign odd service that means this one inside this variable so that is the syntax to use any service okay so if you want to more details about service so you can watch my particular tutorial which i have made only for service and now i will use this service okay so here i will come again in the below and the function is cut number from here just i will use that subject service so now here i have to be use this dot auth dot next sorry this dot auth dot and in this auth service so when i have written this dot auth so now i can access all the things which i have written in the auth service that i can access here because in this auth variable i have i have stored our auth service so now i can access all the code which i have written in our auth service so this dot auth so you can see everything i can access so my subject name is cart subject so i will write here cart so you can see it's showing it's giving the suggestion that is cart subject so i will click here and dot next that is the syntax to use subject and inside this next just i will send this cart number variable because in this cart number variable i have stored the length of local cart so i will now i am sending this cart subject in uh, using subject okay so i will remove the console from here so now i am sending but i have to be get into the header component so it's almost done and i will close this auth service and html file also because i don't need that but here i have to be open header component so header component the ts file so here you can see i already sent the length in using subject so i have to be subscribe now because that's the syntax and where i can we subscribe in the constructor so again here i have to be i will remove here so again i have to be import auth service so here just i will copy from here i will not write because again i have to be import auth service so i'll copy and in the header component i will import that one and in the same way i will create a local variable we can if i call it simply actually it's not a call local variable for uh, make it easy i'm saying it's a local variable okay and in this variable i have assigned this service so i will copy this one and in the same way in the constructor just i will paste and now guys here you can see this dot cart item here i have stored the length already of the local cart you can see this function if you had watched my previous tutorial that it, then you can remember i have already stored the length into the this cart item variable and i call this function inside this ng on it so that's why when i am reloading our page it's adding the number so now here i will use this dot auth again dot cart subject and this cart subject i will subscribe and data but here you can write any name and just here in this cart item because i am checking 
length because I already stored length in this cart item variable. So, when I will click this add to cart button, so I call this function in this add to cart inside this add to cart method. Okay, and I in this function I have written that is subject. So, when I will click, so I am sending using the this length using a subject and I have to be stored this length. So, where I will store? Here I already create a variable and here I have already stored this one, but it is a I call it inside a ng on it. So, in this variable just here I have to be write a data because in this data in this cut subject I subscribe and I have take a variable data that means it is a observable and in this observable I am getting the length which I have sent using this one. So, that now I am getting by this observable you can say it. So, in this observable I have to be stored in this variable. So, that means when I will click this add to cut button. So, that in this add to cut method I have called this function and so then when I will click so I am I am sending the length using subject I am getting the length also here by this subscribe and I store in this variable. So, it direct re, uh, redirect here when I will click this button and when I will reload our page. So, that time the data will not remove because in the reload function I also call this length in this variable and in this variable I have stored our observable where I am getting the length from home also. Okay. So, in the both side we are uh, storing length in this variable. So, let us save and check it once. And now I will refresh it or in the home component also and it is refreshing and now just I will remove all the cart and it is showing error do not know why after refreshing property uh, here it is the error is ok now it is not showing error. So, you can see here when I am clicking this add to cut button. So, error was coming when I was writing a code. So, that time the error was coming. So, after refreshing the error was removed. So, now you can see when I am I have added a product. So, I will now close this console. So, now I will uh, already I have added product 1. So, now I will add this product. So, you can see it is showing product 2 because I have used subject and I am sending data using subject and I am getting data in the header component also. And already I had checked the header component when I was reloading. So, that uh, function is called. So, it data is not removing. So, here you can see it is added. You, so, you can see it is added the number. So, the subject it is a auto refresh ok you can say that is the features of angular because angular does not load our page so now that one is done so in the next tutorial i will show you when i will go to the cart details so here i will get all the four product which i have added if i show into in the local storage so application and here I have added 4 product 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that details I will get here and I can uh, remove the product single or all the product directly I can remove. So, that I will show you in the next tutorial and from here I can increase and decrease the 
quantity of our product also so uh, hope guys this video is helpful to you because every e-commerce site we need a cart and cart is most important so if you like my videos so please like don't forget to like this video uh, guys please please like and and uh, subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get more update